Shalom. <clears throat> All praises, honor, and glorification unto our mighty, marvelous, and wonderful power. Call Halayim La Alahayanawa Yehawa Bashimi Avashai Bashimi Kakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, whom were well and who are great examples towards us, younger brethren. And also whom I have learned is true from through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimi Yahushai. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto you sincere brethren out there. As well as you very few sincere sisters. This is your brother Ayla coming to you with another lesson. And as you see the title of this lesson is going to be you are a fool if you're invested in this society. <coughs> Right, you are a fool if you're invested in this society, and um, you know, this lesson is primarily directed towards the men, but you know, probably get on the women too. But and at this point, you know, it's like. You can't really do nothing but laugh, you know. Just the mind frame of the people. It's just absolutely pathetic. You know, the men. I mean, you saw the clips. You saw them. You know, it's pathetic, man. It's like, I didn't even take it serious. I don't know if it's a skit or if, is this real. You know what I'm saying? But this is insane. But hey, hey Babylon the Great, man. Babylon the Great, you know, and you're invested in Babylon the Great, that's where, you, that's where you're going to be, you know, in a warped frame of mind. But, um, yeah, you're a fool if you're invested in the society. You're a fool to invest in any of, any of these women, right? <laughs> it's just, come on, man. You know. <laughs> you got these guys still talking about relationships are you serious these chicks aren't fit for anything serious bro you know it'd be wise of you to just get your rocks off and you know keep the chick at bay you know and I hate to do it but what, what else are you gonna do you know Sure as hell isn't going to turn a hoe into a housewife. You know, you got to operate accordingly. 
you know. But um, yeah, man. So let's get. I want to get the book of Lamentations, the fourth chapter. That's where I want to start. So this is the book of Lamentations, chapter four and verse two. As a matter of fact, I'll start at one. And it says, how is the gold become dim? How is the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter? You know, ultimately talking about the lowest state that Jake has been brought to, brought down to. Right? Spiritually, mentally, you know, physically, you know. Jake is just on a low level. On a low level. You know? A lot of these guys don't even work out anymore, bro. They just, you know, sit in the house, smoke weed. <laughs> Pathetic, man. You know? But, um... I mean, you know, the Lord is going to set things straight and he's going to purge out the dross, you know, he's going to purge out the dross from the earth, but, um, let's see, we could even get the third verse, even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel, like the ostriches in the wilderness. And um, when you go into that word cruel, which I'll get it really quick. Give me one second, Salakia. Right, so going into that word cruel, you see it says barbaric, inhuman, savage, evil, wicked, right, abominable, vile, hideous, nasty, right? Um, you know, <clears throat> beastly. Bitter, devilish, monstrous, I mean, you get the point, man, and that's Eve, <laughs> that's Eve, you know, let me get this too, Micah 7 and 9, I believe it's Micah 7 and 9. 10. And it reads, Then she that is mine enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her. Which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. You know, going back to what I said before, the Lord is going to set things straight, and he's going to bring that judgment, that mashapatya. You know, and then will be known, you know, the order and power of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Right? These people have no fear. Just like the scriptures say, man. Um, what's that? Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because, uh, yep. <clears throat> and it reads, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. You know? And you do still, you know, the Lord is going to smoke you, right? Because he's not dealing with pussies. And that's what you all are. You're all a bunch of pussies, right? Jake, man, Jake is feeling-based. He's weak. He's emotional. <clears throat> Even just to speak of, of an example, right, if you look at Jake, right, you got Jake that'll get all, you know, 
rowdy or whatever just for you looking at them, right? When you walk into a room, people should be looking at you. It's called being circumspect. But here you have Jake. Jake will get all in his feelings and, you know, want to get, <laughs> you know, it's just emotion based, you know? Pathetic. But, um, like what you looking at, nigga? <laughs> it's pathetic, dog. <clears throat> But, um, let's see. <laughs> this is, uh, <coughs> second address 10 and 21. And it reads, for thou seest that our sanctuary is laid waste, our altar broken down, our temple destroyed, our psaltery is laid on the ground, our song is put to silence, our rejoicing is at an end, the light of our candlestick is put out, the ark of our covenant is spoiled, our holy things are defiled, and the name that is called upon us is almost profane, our children are put to shame, our priests are burnt, our Levites are going into captivity. Our virgins are defiled, and our wives ravished, our righteous men carried away, our little ones destroyed, our young men are brought in bondage, and our strong men are become weak. Right? And you can apply this to now. And, you know, overall, it's just Jake being in a low estate, man. Our women are whores, they're filthy. I mean, scripture say it, man. Thy wife shall be in harlot in the city. You know? <clears throat> Amos 7 and 17. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, thy wife shall be in harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by line, and thou shalt die in a polluted land. And Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. Right? So, I mean, you get the point, man. And I, I want to get this too. Second address, I believe this. No, I don't remember. Um, seven. Right. Second address, 14 and 14. And it says, let go from me mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. Right? And, you know, when we were in the world, we obtained, or Salakia contained, the weak nature, you know? But see, when you come into the truth, you put that off. You know, you gird up your loins like a man. You know? But just showing you, Jake, that's another part of that lower state. Weak, weak nature. But, um, I mean, yeah. You know, it's like, you can't, I mean, it's like the comment says here, you can't make this shit up, you know? We played the clips. We saw it, and it's, it's, it's like, damn, man, you know? It don't even seem real. It seems like a skit or something, but this is the actual mind frame of the people. Jake thinks like this, man. You know? And it's just, it's, it's polluted as hell. You know, this whole social media thing, polluted, you know. That's why we need to be locked in that, and we need to be locked into our power, which is Yahweh by Shemi Shai, our source, you see. Just like a 
phone. 